Hello everyone's everyone's I am here for my review of Married to Medicine season Married to Medicine LA season 2 episode 9. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're one of my peoples, welcome back. So the ladies they decide to go on this like little cycling bar. And I was like, see, that seemed like it's fun, but then on the same time, I do not like when I was going to the gym, I did not like getting on the exercise bike. Like, I had to, like, stop, like, every few minutes and then work back up. But it seemed like fun. I guess you got more people with you. And, like, everybody was having a good time. Now, Jasmine, she getting on Kendra because she's not doggone cycling. But Kendra, she was up moving and she was dancing. And I was like, that was burning calories, you know, dancing. And, like, the more and more Jasmine complained, the more and more Kendra's like, I'm just going to continue on dancing. And Kendra's like, you know what? We need to end this situation because I'm tired. I'm trying to have a nice you know vacation with my friends and every time I turn around you telling me what I can and can't eat then Jasmine goes on how she's had a full-time job she's a wife and a mother and all these things and how she ain't never gonna work with friends again because it's how things happen I was like it's one thing to be a trainer and you'll try to help somebody out but you're trying to have her eat like you eat and there's plenty of trainers like okay good you're you know, cutting down the proportions and the amount of sugar you eating, but it's not I'm eating like a third of what you know normal like a normal portion for when you're dieting. You eating small portions. You not getting any sugar intake. You not getting any dairy intake. All that stuff. Like you go to it, the extreme with it, but you know they agree that they are better off as friends. So they just gonna leave it at that. At one point on the dog on it little tour Leah's flip flopping fell off and I guess this is a normal occasion because the dude who was like conducting it he was like yeah this happens often and I was like yeah see I wouldn't have one. like I don't like flip flops in the first place but like that's like note to anybody out here who want to be up here and get on um the little um cycling bar don't wear flip flops because you might have had to hop off and get your shoe now Leah, the ladies go out, and Leah suggested that they wear their finest labels. Well, since Jasmine is mad at Leah, she decided, because Leah gave her that um, Inglewood's Finest t-shirt for Christmas, she decided she gonna wear her own brand um, brand on the t-shirt. So, we didn't know, well, they didn't notice at first, because she had on fur on top of it. She goes to the bathroom, and she come out, and it just says, like, LS, and they're like, what designer is that? Oh, this is my company. This is my company. It is a brand. I'm representing my brand. But, like, Leo's like, you know what? Well, you wanted to have that little pajama party last night. I would have rather been in my good old sweats and then instead of some lingerie. I was being a team player. But I guess people don't want to be no team player up in here. I was like, me, I, I am all about comfort. Like, if I'm not comfortable in it, I'm not getting it. Like, when I, when I was going to the mall, I ain't been to the mall in, like, shoot, almost a year. But when I was going to the mall, when I try something on, I got to sit down. I got to move side to side. I got to see if this fits while I'm moving. Because if it doesn't, I'm not getting it. I don't care how cute it is. If it don't fit right. Like, I saw this dress and it looks so cute. Like, they didn't have my size at one mall. And when I went to another mall, they had it. It's just that the bells, it, it was like a cowbell sleeve. And it was real, real cute. But my thing was, like, when I put it on, I didn't like how it felt on my arm. So, I didn't even get it because I'm that picky person. But, yeah. That ain't had nothing. We, we didn't jump off subject, y'all. Shanique, she is still upset that Imani gave her this little blow horn. Like, I, she put a lot of thought into the suction cup toy that she had got Imani, and it seems like you didn't put that much thought into my, you know, miniature bullhorn that you got me. Mine's like, fine, I'll take it back. Um, somehow this turns into Imani saying how y'all was talking about I wasn't opening up, and I never intended to tell you guys things was going on with me, to Britain saying how everyone shares what's going on in their lives with their husband besides um you know jasmine we have still not met your husband we've known you over a year what's up with that imani says like um i didn't told y'all stuff about my marriage like i wasn't gonna tell you that i wouldn't have um sex 
What she said, and mine says, y'all know I haven't been having sex, and the only thing I can do is call your husband by, you know, his initial. Jasmine going on and on about how she, first of all, she gets upset and starts, t she takes her um, shirt off because she's too hot. Everybody else sitting there in their clothes, ain't nobody else got hot but Jasmine, but okay. She said, her husband is very busy. He has a regime. I was like... And she kept on saying it. I was like, maybe that's the word I didn't know. She, he, he has a regiment. He that he's, you know, he does things by the book. He's like a regiment, basically. And I was like, I don't care how busy somebody is. He not working twenty four seven. He not getting up, getting dressed, eating breakfast, going to work, being at work, come home, eat dinner, going to sleep. There is some time when he is not busy. So why is it that your husband, you want to be all up in everybody's business and why ain't you telling us this and why ain't you telling us that? And they have yet to meet your husband. We've met it even before Phil left. They met Phil. Phil was on the scene. I mean, we don't have to have a husband, your husband on there every moment, but hey, let them he don't even have to be on the screen at least let them beat him or something but hey so the husband's meet up and hobart expresses how a part of him feels that kendra is tired of the baby and she wants to dump the baby to go back to work and meg is like see mm -mm, there's some certain things that you don't say out loud and i was like i wonder how this is gonna go over when kendra sees this episode or is hobart gonna be like look here I said something, it's going to come on the screen, so I'm just going to let you know now. And Rob is like, yeah, so there is no room in my house that you can stay in because it seems like you're going to be staying in my house for a good little minute making some making some foolish comments like that, yeah. But Robert lets um, them know how when Shanique was going through things last season, his suggestion was her to quit her job, and that wasn't the thing to do. Like, never suggested your wife quit her job. But I think Hobart's thing is, like, we discussed this, that she was going to wait, and then you decided to go ahead and go back to work, and now you decided, okay, I'm going on interviews, and I'm getting these jobs, and we decided you was going to wait a year before you did all these things. So Max says communication is key. And it was like, look here, bro. The next time you feel that you're going to say something stupid, call one of us so we can talk you off the ledge so you won't say this stupid thing, okay? Now, y'all, I don't know. Maybe this was Senior Citizen Night at the drag show because it seemed like everyone there was, like, 55 and older, like, besides the ladies. And I was like... Brittany, where did you find this place at? Because I, I, I believe it was Brittany's idea to go to the drag show. But, like, everybody else there was old. And they seemed out of place since everybody else. It looked like bingo night, basically. I know young people go to bingo, too. But it seemed like this is bingo night. Like, everybody there was older. I guess Imani, she had a little bit too much to drink. And she gets up there thanking her plastic surgeon, you know, for her new girls. And, you know, thinking that, you know, she just paid them off. I was like, I thought that. See, I don't know nothing about plastic surgery. I've had actual surgery before, but insurance paid for that. Like, I didn't know that you can get, like, plastic surgery and, like, make payment plan. Make a, get a payment plan. I didn't know you could just be, like, giddy and be like, I pay, like, $200 a month to this paid off. I didn't know that. But I guess they can't come and repossess I'm I guess they can take you to court and have you get the surgery again to take but I don't know. But she happy she didn't pay them off. Now the ladies the next morning, they asked how everybody to do it. Now everybody was drunk. Cannot remember much from the night before. But seems like Jasmine and Leah, they did have a kumbaya moment at like three o'clock in the morning. Jasmine and Leah, they had some fried chicken in the hot tub. They was happy about that. Leah was up at like 3 o'clock in the morning making eggs. Now, I'm telling y'all, when I was like 22 through 24, I could stay up until 3 o'clock in the morning. Because I used to do that. I used to stay up to watch Law & Order SVU. And then I'd be fresh as a daisy by 9 o'clock in the morning. I can't do that no more. At the age of 35... I'm good if I'm still up at 12.30. Like, my eyes just be a-hanging. And don't let me be trying to watch something. There's plenty of times that I didn't fell asleep on this show several times. And therefore, then I'm like, okay, this is why I'm going to have to watch this before I lay down. Because if I lay down and try to watch this, I'm going to go to sleep. Like, 
I'll be in the bed and the TV watching me instead of me watching it. I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and I go on the Time Life channel zone and they got all the uh, songs from the 70s. Like, I can't do that up at 3 o'clock in the morning no more. I just can't. The only time I'm up, if I'm getting up to turn the TV off or I'm getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning because I have a 6 o'clock flight and I need to get up, get dressed, make sure I have everything, even though I've done that the night before. But, you know, I'm a little bit OCD and I got to check these things out. But, yeah, that is the only reason I'm going to be up at 3 o'clock in the morning. But it was good that Leon Jasmine made up. Now, Kendra tells the lady how she and Hobart got into it about her taking this job. Now, she lets it be known. I know that being a stay-at-home mom is one of the hardest jobs out there. You don't get paid, and you don't get a lot of gratitude for doing it. Like, people think you just staying at home, you've been lazy. But no, you got to make sure the kids is fed. You got to make sure the house is clean. You got to cook lunch. You got to cook dinner. You make clean up after lunch and dinner. You got to make sure the kids, even if you got little kids, you got to make sure they ain't trying to kill themselves. Because this is what baby's main goal is, to get into any and everything and put any and everything in their mouth. Once my nephew to learn how to crawl, they were in everything. It was like, bruh, buying a little gate to keep them in didn't work because they, within 30 minutes, they figured how to get out of that. So it's a lot of work. We're going to stay at home. She wants to let that be known right then and there. But she doesn't want to lose her, um, lose she, who she is because she's a new mom. Now, she didn't already went on this interview and didn't discuss it with Hobart. And now she's taking a job without discussing him discussing it with him and Brittany and Jasmine's like girl you going about this wrong it's not that you're getting provision from Hobart it is like you're discussing what's going to how things are going to affect you guys's home life if you take this job like she said she initially went on the interview just to fill things out and see how it would work for her and she liked A, B, and C, and D about the job. It's just that, you know, you didn't tell Hobart about this. And now you're going to take this job and not tell him. And speak with your husband is basically what they said. So, y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on so with my beautiful face puts up a video. You can click on it. You can like it. You can share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. Now, this is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.